dogs. Get them, dogs. Good dogs. Get them, dogs. Good boy, Toby. Good boy, you right, mate? Good solid set. Good lump of a pig. You rip up. Big old cane board just got. He's a cracker. He'd be, oh, not huge, huge, but he's big. You'd be 80 plus. And monster tusks for in the cane. You don't get tusks like that too often in the sugar bush. Hey, what a pig. You beauty. Okay, I'm just gonna take this pig's jaw out. I just started it and then I thought this would be a good thing for in a, in a video. Just get me tracker off. And uh, headlights out of, out of um, battery, so I'll try and spin the pig around it so you can sort of see. It's a pretty good jaw on it. You should be able to see there. I'm gonna have to wear this in my mouth. So it might be a bit muffled. So I've cut this, this is the skin around the jaw. I've cut this all back. I'll just cut it a bit further. Roll him over to the other side. His legs are a bit buggered because he's with a shotgun. And same thing along there. Split his lip. So there we go. A bit further. A bit further again. around there okay now it's nice for a solid back edge otherwise you can take the whole head or you can go in and around off here pull the jaw out but i only want this bit at the end so what i'm going to do is just make sure that as far as i can get it and he's racking off that should be on side you can use a little tomahawk for this as well, a lot of people do. Make sure that's all the way up. A sharp knife definitely helps, this isn't the sharpest, so I'll do a job. Hold that back. I think she's starting to go now. There we go. And then oh, give it a few rolls. Hopefully you can see this. Because I only have the car going there. To give me light. So once I get a figure I can actually just drive to. And there you go. Pretty good set of tusks. I do say so myself. Well done, Toby boy. See? First one flushed out the cane. Even grabbed it a couple times. Just couldn't quite hold him for long enough. It is hard to pull him up in the cane, but well done, mate. Well done. What do you reckon? Hey? Ain't good for you? Hmm? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so probably about a month ago now. I really forgot about it. I buried the jaw out of that decent boar. Um, didn't actually bury it. What I do is I stick it on the edge of the rainforest here, cover it in leaf litter, and uh, the bugs and bugs and insects get into it. And the way I hold it there is I get a bit of tie wire, just put it around the jaw, around the hooks, and uh, that seems to hold it in place pretty well and stops goannas and that sort of thing, carting it away. I've tried putting them in trees and all that on ant hills, but it doesn't really seem to clean them up too well, so yeah. Just sort of half bury them and nothing cleans them up quite as well, including any skin or hair or anything like that. As uh, insects and bugs and all those little creepy crawlies, you know. So uh, it should just be in here somewhere. Just pull up the ute. Dogs in the back, so they don't wander back down here afterwards looking for it. Well, I disappear into the rainforest. Here it is. 
So I completely covered this. In uh, leaf litter. And uh, I don't know, this might be a deer. I don't know, I've got a couple here. Yep, so still a little bit of that skin there. Can just peel that off. And uh, yeah, it should come up like this pair. So here's those two sets of teeth. This one's been down there for who knows how long. It's a pretty good set. And this one's a set out of the uh, pig that I snapped off. So you can see, done a little bit of damage to the back of it there. The way that I mount them, and I'll show you um, one of these as well as I cut them off of a hacksaw, around about there-ish, and uh, mount them straight back up to a block of timber, so yeah, and I never pull any teeth out further than, further than what they sit, so yeah, that's cheating. I buried this set of jaws that I'd got from the pig that Toby chased out again to leave for another day as it wasn't completely cleaned up and I uh, decided to focus on the older set that was already sitting down there. So I've got this jaw here and uh, I'll show you, I've got a scour in here. So I'm just scour it back and you'll see what it goes from this manky looking thing to something decent. After scouring the jaw back a bit to clean it up, I leave the jaw in a bucket, adding about half a cup of bleach, and uh, come back the next day. This is to remove any mould or um, greeny brown tinge to the bone. Okay, is that jaw? Just stuck the teeth back in, and here you go, nice, nice white jaw, nice teeth, and the jaw mould's gone, it's not green, and yeah, it looks apart, ready to be cut down maybe through there, and mounted on a bit of timber. Before you mount it on anything, just make sure you get the tusks. inside them in there, just fill them up with silicon or Sikaflex or even probably liquid nails would probably do, anything like that just to stop them cracking. So the jaws can go from what I was just showing you to this, so that's the, how I cut them off, cut them off there, bit of araldite, um, sometimes pre-tap them with a couple pieces of dowel uh, with uh, liquid nails inside here and then liquid nails inside there and put the pre-tap the dowel into here and just sit them on there away you go these are just held on with liquid nails so there are obviously other sets around it and then if I get an absolute cracker which is this one see just how big those hooks are <sighs> then I um and these aren't held out then I generally cut the whole head off and mount it like it is there so there's a little bit of dowel you probably can't see in there right in the back of his head there it goes in and uh liquid nails you can probably see there holding the jaw together also shotgun shell in here and uh, that's liquid nails in as well. All the teeth are held in with silicon. Um, fill the, fill the uh, tusks up with silicon as well. Stop them cracking and away you go. Let's set some of that to see. So there, yeah.